Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the ATR podcast. And with the Stanley Cup finals upon us, it is already showing that this is going to be a quick series. <laughs> I am your host, Mark Williams, and I am joined by, of course, the two guys, but the one and only Mr. John Fulkowski. Uh, Adam Fox or Norris. I, I don't see how he doesn't win the Norris, but that's that's just me. Maybe I got a little bit of Long Islander and Ranger fan uh, glasses on, but I think that's going to be it. And if you were wondering where he was, no, he was not licking his wounds from last week. Here is out in the sun, Mr. Anthony Larocco. Yep. This is how I'm, I'm getting by the Islanders' loss. I'm just going to take my off to a blue <laughs> Uh, and that is actually pretty good. You can't have too many of those because they're like twenty-seven carbs yeah. per serving. It was I, I I love that stuff, but man, it's just yeah, I know. it is a lot of carbs. So, and I have not been able to get back to my gym schedule in a while. Uh, we already have a comment. We haven't even. Oh, by the way, we have a comment before we started about Rick Carpinello, but we're going to get back to that in a little bit, Ziga. And uh, of course. Well, let's go Rangers. I, of course, am wearing my Rangers Winter Classic jersey in uh, today. Uh, so I don't know why I grabbed it. It's also because I rolled out of bed and I'm not really camera ready right now. So uh, first we're going to start with game Game 1 of the Stanley Cup Finals was last night. And guys, um, the hottest take I can give you is this is going to be a quick series. I said five in my predictions. Uh, I, I don't see any way that it goes long. and But then again, this is the way Montreal looked against Vegas, too. So, uh, John, what, what are your thoughts on game one? Tampa just outclassed Montreal. Just every aspect of the game, the speed, the physicality, it just... It, you know what? It, it, Tampa faced what Anthony called a paper tiger in Toronto in round one. And then in round two, they took on a Mark Scheifele-less Winnipeg Jets team after, obviously, the hit on Jake Evans. And then, you know, they, they, they shut down Vegas, who was a clear-cut upgrade over them. But as we said during the preview yesterday, they lacked center depth. Tampa Bay has depth on every team. They have speed. They have size. They have good defensive players. I mean, Andre Palat adding offense after you talked about him yesterday. Someone needed to show up. Someone showed up. Who did I say needed to show up yesterday? Blake Coleman. Blake Coleman showed up. And, you know what? It, it's, it, 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 Tampa is just proving that they are simply a better team. And it didn't even look close last night. I never thought that at any point that that game, that Montreal even had a chance of winning that game. I, I never thought it. Because even when the score was 0-0, it just Tampa was controlling the action. The, the puck was in Montreal's end. They were all over them, and Tampa was getting the majority of the high-danger chances, the vast majority of them. And the goal that was scored was really kind of a fluky kind of goal for Sherrod. So if that's what it's going to be, it looks like Vegas trying to play against Montreal because that, that's that's basically how that series was. The goals were coming from defensemen. They weren't, like, great goals, and now Carey Price might be coming back down to earth against a much better team, so... You gotta wonder how quick this series is gonna be. I I know myself, and I believe Anthony. I think you said six too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This might be five or less. This really might be five or less. I, I would say Montreal steals one at home, just because the home crowd, Carey Price in front of his fans, maybe steals them a game. But I, I'm not even sure if that can happen at this point. So, I mean, I know it's only one game, but it, it's not looking good for Montreal. The matchups were in Tampa's favor. I know Tampa gets last change, so that helps them out quite a bit. So maybe that helps going back to Montreal. But if Tampa houses them again like they just did last night, home ice ain't gonna be it ain't gonna be much because they're gonna be down two nothing in the series early on, and then Tampa could win one game and take the stranglehold of the series and take the cup home again for a second year in a row. So um, honestly, I. I I'm shocked if this goes past five games at this point. Uh, well, we got to go right to that beautiful scenery right behind Anthony and that deck that I'm a little bit envious of right now. So, uh, Anthony, your thoughts on game one? I, I thought Montreal 
well, first off, they kind of like ran into a buzzsaw there. I think they played timid. I think they were a little scared, uh, maybe a little shell shocked. Um, and Tampa Bay took it to them. Um, the thing about this series is Carey Price is, you know, obviously Vasilevsky is the best goalie in the world. Price is still viewed as right up there. So Price does have the capability to make this a close series, but. Um, if he can't close the gap between him and Vasilevsky, I think it might be over uh, rather quickly. But, um, yeah, look, you know, Tampa Bay is a, a deep team, like John said. They got they got talent everywhere across all four lines, um, and they play a good defensive brand of hockey. So, um, and also, too, you got to look at Shea Weber is kind of a shell of himself. He, I mean, he's, he's been better this playoff round, but he's not the same Shea Weber. Um, and Jeff Preach is a good defenseman, but I, I wouldn't say he's like an elite shutdown defenseman. So, um, you know, I think Tampa Bay is going to have an easier time. I mean, they're coming off playing the Islanders when they had to face. Laggy. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. Uh, but, all right. Uh, so. I don't know if you want me to chime in there or if you want to. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll chime in. It's just, you know what? I got to echo it, what, uh, what you said a minute ago. And that's, it's it's clearly going, this is going to be a short series. Granted, game two could change a lot, but I, I, don't, I don't think so. Um, I, I just, I, I tried to justify yesterday when we were doing the preview of trying to figure out how Montreal could win the series. And... Let's be honest. You can still win the series. It's it's possible, but it's sure as hell not likely. And no. I I just I, Tampa's just better in every possible way. And if you play the rope a dope game with uh, with Tampa Bay, you're gonna lose. And then if you if you do that, I mean, because Vegas. This is a better coach team than Vegas. This is a more talented team than Vegas, and uh, and I mean that with not all lack of respect to uh, Pete DeBoer. Uh, that's that's the wrong way to go about it. But um, no, we're only about like seven minutes in so far, Dave. So it's not yeah. that bad. Yeah, you're not. Yeah. We're off, Dave. And it's just this. I I, I don't see them doing that game where I talked about the 30 shot game and uh, the 30 to eight shot differential. And then suddenly they Vegas makes a mistake. They pop one in the net. It's not happening against Tampa. It's not. So, um, Montreal is going to have to attack. And I don't think that's really what they're, uh, well, that's what I was uh, going to say. <laughs> the, the way that Montreal wins this series. Yeah. And maybe he did take a dip in the pool, Alex, but, um, the way that Montreal wins, Series is if they just take Tampa's game and they shove it right back down their throat, they have to. They have no other choice because, like like you said, you can't afford to sit back and, and counterattack at this point and try to play what, what the Islanders tried to do with them. The Islanders have the ability to do that. I don't, I don't think Montreal really has the ability, you know, to make Tampa make those mistakes like the Islanders did. I, I just I don't know. I don't I don't see it in, in Montreal. I just it. it Something's not right. I mean, you're not you're not getting anything from Phil Deneau. The Knicks is doing yeah. off fields were completely shut down last night. They were non factors. That's that's big because that's been their driving line so far offensively. Tyler Toffoli was a milk carton status last night. I didn't hear it like a peep from him. He, you just they did to Vegas. They did to Tampa Bay. Did to them what uh, Montreal did to Vegas. They mm -hmm. neutralized their forwards and they made their defend defenders score. So if that's going to be the case, Montreal's done in four or five. Um, by the way, Phil, do you ever wonder if we have to explain what milk carton status is to people? We're, we're getting that old. Milk carton status, and you're basically lost, nowhere to be found, and your face belongs on the back of a milk carton saying "missing" above it. Oh, I know. Just just in case, if if you you don't know what a milk carton is out there, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Uh, you're, I, have to uh, explain that because I, me and I rock that for years, but you probably have too. You're old enough to get the uh, the terminology, but oh um, yes, I definitely, I definitely have that uh, that that terminology that I got that that well because I'm I'm the eldest of all of us, and um, 
so as we're working on getting Anthony back on, uh, who needs to step up for game two? Wow. Um, Montreal's offense? <laughs> like, Back there's their own player in specific. I mean, you need a single player because, I, I mean, I could give you a couple of singular players, but Montreal's offense in general needs to step up. They need to play a lot harder, play a lot faster. They need to not be timid, like Anthony said. Um, I, if I give you one player to step up, it's probably Nick Suzuki. Nick Suzuki start reviving that line and bringing those guys back. It's like when you're playing Call of Duty and one of your guys is down and everybody goes and revives the guy and, you know, brings him back and, you know, the team gets back together. Nick Suzuki has to be the guy that, you know, takes the rank there because they really don't have a linchpin center. And he's the closest thing to it right now. Um, Anthony, who do you got stepping up for game two? Um, I got to... I gotta go, with Tyler Toffoli. Um, I know he was red hot earlier on. I think for them to win, they need they need him to start putting the puck in the net um, with regularity because uh, the margin of error in this series, I think, is gonna be you know not very good for Montreal. So they're really gonna need to get all the bounces and all their goal scorers are gonna have to be their goal scorers. So yeah, then right there, their their offense is just not capable of. Stepping up, uh, Tampa is just too much of a complete team. Power play is lethal. And it's funny, we talked about this just before. Usually, or yesterday, I mean, usually it's like the penalty kill usually beats out the power play. This, that's not going to be the case with this. Uh, taking shot all Rocks Islanders. Yeah. Messed up. Oh, yeah. The, the one uh, shorthanded goal all year. Out of Fox for Norris. There's another one. My player. man, Mike Sinino Sensio. My man. Um, just before I ask about the headline, just to say, uh, it, it is coming up. It's going to be in our C block. Uh, that's, we gotta, we gotta just wrap up the Islanders in a minute. Yeah. Um, with a rip carpet yellow. All right. So back to the other, the one last thing, what's your headline after game two? Um, I'm going to say bolts take commanding lead series. I, I just. I don't see Montreal coming back from this. I, I think they split, they split in Montreal. I think Montreal might take game four. Uh, desperation. I think I think Tampa ends up going up three nothing, and they just they really don't look back much, um, unless Montreal somehow has some magical galvanizing moment in the locker room where they come together, realize what they have to do. And Dominic Ducharme really gets this team together, and the offense starts producing. I just, I, I don't see how Montreal wins the series. So I'm going Bolts take commanding lead to uh, to nothing going to Montreal. Anthony, um, my, I think it's going to be despite much better effort, Montreal falls behind 2-0 in series as Tampa uh, takes another takes it decisively in the series. In a, I'll, I'll go with a, a terrible pun for this. In a hab to win game, Montreal comes up short. Lightning strike again. So, uh, but of course, we want to know what you think. What do you think about the Stanley Cup final so far? It's one game, that's all it is. But uh, who's going to come out on top? I'll give you a hint. It's going to be the one in the blue. And, uh, do we? and there goes Philk. <laughs> What's going on today? So we'll we'll see how it all goes. <laughs> but to wrap up the, uh, the team that ended their pro season run on Friday night, New York Islanders, and where we got comments. Yeah, I know it, it, it. That this series could be pretty bad. Did you like the video? Of course you did. So why not check out some more of our content? You can check the playlist right here or right here. Mm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.